So this first one is to help us differentiate a little bit what it means by torque and force, okay? There are different things. Take a look at this question. This is on page 24 on the handout if you want to do that as well. Which row describes the resultant force? Highlight that. Force and resultant torque. Now the word resultant is used both. But what does it mean? Oh, to remember a little bit. Resultant force is this one, sum of F. Okay? Resultant torque is sum of tau or t. So how do you differentiate between both? Okay. Take a look at the diagram. You got all kinds of forces. Let's look at resultant force first, kind of refreshing the previous chapter. So resultant force, ooh, looks like we've got two directions. Let's define anything to up as positive y, anything to the right as positive x. Choosing our signs, our direction, because forces, direction matters. So for resultant force in the x direction will be 30 plus 30. Oh, so there is a resultant force in the horizontal direction. Okay, how about the vertical direction? So the resultant force in the vertical will then be positive 45 minus 45. So that's zero newtons. Okay, so what that tells us is uh, your object will accelerate in which direction? Resultant force. Okay, it has a horizontal resultant force of 60. That's going to cause the entire object to move. Move to the right. Vertically, no resultant force, so it's not going to move up, down. So, not moving up or down. That's what resultant force tells you. Is your object moving or not? Moving where? With what acceleration? Okay? Then, we come to resultant torque. What is torque again? Remember torque? We talked about it a lot. Torque is about turning. So the question is, resultant torque, does your object rotate or not? See? Torque is about rotation. Not, not so much about moving the object, but more about that thing turning on the spot. So let's see. Resultant torque. That means clockwise, anti-clockwise. We need to define our directions. Let's say... Let's say, let's say clockwise is positive. Anti-clockwise is negative. That's how we can decide whether to do our torque or not. And there's one, two, three, four. Four acting in total. Let's do all those clockwise ones first. So clockwise, we have 45 and 30 and 45. Those will be all the clockwise ones. So we give them a positive. So we have 45 plus 30, plus 45. Okay. Then, anti-clockwise, let's give it a negative. So, let's see, there's only one going anti-clockwise, so this one. So you can say, okay, so there's only one minus 30. So we add them all together, 30, 30 is gone. Ooh, we have 90, torque is what? Newton, meter. Newton meter clockwise torque. It's positive, by the way, so that means it's clockwise. Means your net torque is not zero. Let's look at the answers. So we looked at resultant force. It's not zero because you're going to move to the right. So this is out. Then your torque is also not zero. Sorry, not zero. Ah. There we go. So then you have non-zero, non-zero, which means you will have a resultant force, the object's going to move, and your object's going to rotate at the same time. So it's rotating and moving. Okay. A shortcut, if you want to think about this in a faster way, is to look at the diagram itself for torque. Okay, but this shortcut is for torque. Notice how uh, when you look at it, you can kind of see that the 30 Newton and the 30 Newton, these two, they cancel out. One is trying to force it clockwise, the other one force it anti-clockwise. So you could say they already cancel out. So what's left is the 45 and 45, which are actually a couple. So this fella is a couple. 
purple. Let's use purple. Oh, no. Let's use green. So this one is a couple with the other one down there because they're acting same magnitude but opposite direction. Okay, so they're a couple and you can shortcut and well find the top for that. The 30 and 30, they are not a couple. Why is that? Because they're pointing in different uh, pointing in the same direction, both to the right. Okay, so that's a shortcut. Remember, don't confuse resultant torque with force. They do different things to an object. Okay? Let's look at one more question about talk of a couple. 